Salut, c'est Mathieu Ludovox et aujourd'hui nous sommes au Festival de Cannes sur le premier jour du Festival de Cannes avec Roman de Argentum Verlag. Hi Roman. Bonjour. So uh, you have a very good French, but you're too shy. So we're going to do this in English. I think you don't want to hear me speaking French. It's going to be exhausting after some time. <laughs> I think that's okay. I heard you yesterday in the off, and it was perfectly fine. But still. We accept it. We're going to do this in English. So we are here with the expansion for El Gaucho. So yes. Um, so El Gaucho was our game from last year, and we will have a new extension for this in uh, in summer. So um, well, we have plenty of questions about this expansion. Uh, does it have a name? Not yet, to be honest. At the moment, it's the El Gaucho extension. <laughs> So it's it's going to be available in summer, and we'll well we'll have a name for it, of course, and we'll have to see that it is going to be suitable in all languages. So the, we will have the, the 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 regular games in a French box, in an English box, and in a German box, and the extensions. We always have one version with three rules, and then we have to look for something that is meaningful in all languages. Okay, sure. So. Um, Can you just give us a really quick overview of the base game before moving on what's new in this expansion? Yeah, sure. So the um, thing about El Gaucho is that um, you have some cows that you are going to collect. So there is plenty of cows at the game board available in, um, in the beginning of the game. And uh, the original game is two to four players and I think this should be sufficient for explanation. Um, the nice thing about El Gaucho is that you have a bunch of dice that you roll at the beginning of the play. So there's always one star player who rolls the dice and each player takes two dice and you can do something with them. So for example, if you want to buy that cow, you need 12 points, so I take two times a six and then I buy that one. I put one of my gauchos on top of that cow. If I want to buy these, co these cows, of course, I, I, I take different dice and then I can buy two of them. Or what I can always do is I can use my dice to place gauchos here in the village to get special capabilities. Like um, if I want to chase away other players' gauchos, I need a five and then can go here. Or If I want to sell cows, I need a one, two, or three. Go over here and sell the cows I collected in the first place. So this is basically how the, the base game works. It's, um, it's a little mean. You try to well, make other people to get their best cows or to, 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 to sell them or to block some cows here or to take the dice that the other players may want to have. So... Uh, Yeah, and it's, it's, it's about one hour that it takes. And um, as the game is quite successful and as people like it and as people were asking for opportunities to do something else, we will have this extension now, which offers a variety of additional elements. And um, you can take any of these elements. So you can play with the... Well, with the full equipment, which will make the game significantly longer, especially if you play with the fifth player, so the extension can be played with five players. Or you can decide, okay, I take this extension or this extension or a combination of any. So uh, what you're telling me is that it, these are modules that you can, uh, you can uh, use. So, uh, th so we have sheep and we have like uh, this board, which I don't know what, what it is, but you're going to tell us. Yeah. So, if I'm going to collect cows, like in the original game, so, so I have a collection of two herds at the moment. Um, I can, well, cash them in for victory points, like I do in the base game. And in the extension, for example, I can, with additional dice, so this is a little bit hidden below here, yeah? Instead of buying new cattle or going to the village, I can also buy um, fences, which I can put in the middle of two herds, 
And the longer the fence is, it increases my victory points. So if I have a fence of one, I get three additional points. If I have a fence of two, I get six additional victory points, etc., etc. So the longer my fence is, the more additional victory points I will get. Um, and I mean, it's a, it's a question of strategy whether I set up a fence and then try to sell my herds more expensively. Another opportunity is I can spend any die to get a bag with fodder for the, for the cattle. Um, if I spend a fodder bag, I increase the value of my entire herd. So um, that will be one additional point per fodder bag, but I may spend only two per herd. So if I include these elements, well, I increase my herd slower, but I will get more victory points. These I can use once. These I can keep using okay. during the entire game. I have a question, yeah. I have a question about uh, fences. So uh, the fences stay, and it's every time you um, you sell your cattle that you get the points, right? Yeah. And is it every every time? Uh, well, do I ha do you have to uh, put fences under, or just uh, in the middle? I can use I can use this fence for two different herds. Okay. Yeah. So if I start a third herd, I can't use that fence. So the fence is only for two herds. And um, yeah, so there's many different strategies in the game. So there's people that try to collect as many different herds and immediately sell them with here gaining extra victory, extra victory points. Um, there's other people that try to make one long herd. And now you have an additional opportunity to, well, yeah, look, how you how you manage to to come along in the middle yeah um, other, opportunities are other opportunities you can well other elements modules you can use in the extension is cards so at the moment these cards are german but they're going to be multinational so there won't be text on them any longer so they will be with pictograms that that are the similar ones than these ones so they should be easy be be understandable we don't need these dies, so they're crossed out. It's, it's still a prototype. Um, uh, what, what you have here is um, if you fulfill certain criteria, so there's always three cards which are available. So for example here, this one is um, you have at least four of the new cards, or here you have a fence or there's other cards like you have a from four f uh, a four tile fence there is other cards like um, you have a certain amount of gauchos here in the pampas and there is um, about the herds that you have been collecting so like this is you fulfill certain criteria with the herds that you collect so there's always three cards available and um, if you fulfill one of these criteria, you just take the card, so this for example is 15 additional victory points. So at the end of the game you will score these points. As a rule of thumb, um, these are, well, usually you, 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 you're not looking to get this situation, but if you happen to have such a situation, which is usually not the best strategy, but then you will gain extra victory points, so you're back in the game. So, do we always have three cards, or is it just like three cards for the entire game? No, you always have three cards, and um, if one card is gone at the end of the turn, it will be replaced by a new card. So, here is bonus cards. So, what these cards do is actually they are to a certain degree similar to the to the buildings you have here. You have you you gain additional capabilities. So, if you play with this module. You also have more open cards here available. You can buy them by using your dice. And if you buy one, you place one of your pawns here at the beginning of the card, and each turn it advances. And as long as you have the card, you can make use of that card. So that is one special capability that only you have. The disadvantage is you have one pawn left. Yeah, You can't use that gouge. Oh, I mean, you can take that gaucho for use here on the game board, but then the card will be gone. Yeah? But as long as you have that card, you have additional possibilities to do something that only, 
an additional power that only you have. Yeah? And the last um, cards that you, the last module that you can use is um, disasters that might happen. So there's always one card available. It will be replaced every time that a herd is taken from the game board and distributed to the players that have the gauchos. So this is part of the base game. As soon as a herd is occupied, all the players that have gauchos on the cards take the, their cows, they add them to their herds here, and you will have new cows from the deck, and the disaster card will be replaced. So it might be that cows get more expensive, or that you cannot do certain things for a certain amount of time. So it makes the, the selection more challenging. Okay, what about the sheep? Because uh, we have uh, new tiles with sheep, but they have a star, so I guess it's not technically a five to get them. Exactly. So if you're playing with five players, you of course need more resources, more cows. Yeah. Otherwise, I mean, the game is balanced for four players. So if you play with five, you take the additional sheep and the point scheme, the victory scheme is different. So um, you have that here on the cards. It will be available on the board as well, so that it can be easier read than here on the cards. So basically, the more it's the same with the cows. The more that you have, the more victory points you get. But the price for these cows is always the same. And the value of, of, the, of the sheep is only dependent from the amount. So you can buy them quite cheaply. You need not to sort them like you have to sort your herds with the cows. You can just place them in your belonging, in your personal stock. And yeah, as a rule of thumb, the more you have, the more victory points you will get. So if you have four, the value will be equal to what you paid initially. If you have less, then you get less victory points than you paid for the cows, uh, for the for the sheep initially. If you happen to have more, then you will have more victory points. Then you will gain points. So it's um, a calculated risk. It's a calculated risk. If you manage to get lots of them, then you will make mo lots of points. If you don't, well, okay, then you paid your risk. So. Let me sum this up. Uh, we have a fifth player, so these are not the final meeples. Uh, we have this module uh, with the, the fences that we can use. We have the fodder that we can use. We have uh, the, uh, the bonuses, the disasters, and um, the objectives that we can uh, buy and the sheep. So the sheep always come with the fifth player, but all the rest is optional. You can just choose one and play with one or with all of them, or combine. If you play with five players, you need more cards, so you add one additional card here. So we will have, this is still the original board, we will have a new board with places for the fifth player and place for more cows or sheep. Yeah? So they are shuffled with the, with the regular cards, with all the other cards, and you will have them among the, the others. So it will look somehow like, like that. Okay. Yeah? So, Playing with the fifth player, we, we will have the, the wooden material for the fifth player. You will add these cards. You will have an additional, as I said, like that. So the, the herd in the pampa will be longer. There will be more cows. As soon as it's occupied, it will be distributed. And you don't get the regular cows. You also get the, well, you, you still get the regular cows. And you also get the, the sheep. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you, Roman. Uh, I might have one last question. Uh, did you plan to have uh, an expansion for a fifth player right at start, or is it something that you developed after, well, a year of game life? We thought about a fifth player in the original game already. Um, it, the, well, when we developed the game, initially the, 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 the game I got from, from Arve, from the, from the author, had money. So there was an additional element. There was the victory points and there was money. And um, we decided to abandon the fifth player because the game just took too long. The downtime was well, quite long. And um, so we continued with four players. And now as there is no money in the game left, 
so so that was one of the changes that we came through when we when we worked with the game. We found out that it, there is no necessarily well, we don't need that element. So the game works without that element. So we changed. So initially, you actually had to buy the cubes, um, the dice, and um, now the game is quite fast. And we thought, okay, so in this case, we can add the fifth player again. We played that with, with test groups, and they liked the game very much. And so we said, yeah, okay, then we'll have the fifth player again. If we have the fifth player again, we need new cows. And instead of having a sixth breed, we just said, okay, we are going to have something different, so why not sheep? Yeah? And the, the, the calculation scheme will be different as well. So we have that additional material. And for the players that are really used to that game and that want to have well, little differences, that want to try out something new, we have these modules that they can add as well to, to get the different... Well, they, they know the game... Yeah, if people know the game and they want to have an additional element so that they can try out something new, there's plenty of opportunity. Okay, thank you, Roman, for uh, this overview of... El Gaucho Expansion, <laughs> which is coming next summer with a real name. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it will have a real name, yeah. Salut, à bientôt sur Ludovox. Ciao.